Hi, it's Talsvids. This is my review on the Senna Ultra Slim uh, for the iPhone X or iPhone 10, whatever you want to call it. So I received this yesterday. Um, I had to order it from Senna website, uh, and it came from the USA. Uh, it came. I got it express delivery, and it arrived in the UK uh, two days after posting. So big thumbs up to Senna for getting it to me this quick. Now I will point out, Senna didn't send me this, I bought it with my own money, so uh, I'm in no way biased to uh, Senna. So, as always, we've got the beautiful presentation. Now, I've had these cases since the iPhone 4, I think it was, um, so I really like them. I've never had any issues at all with them, even despite having my last one for I think it was three years, um, it was still pretty much like new, there was no stitching coming out, there was no lining coming away, so the quality of these is absolutely superb. So, got the little thank you in the bottom of the box. And we've also you get a little drawstring bag that your leather case is in when you get it. So might be able to make use of the little cloth bag. So that's the ultra slim case. Beautiful rippled leather effect. And then you've got the embossed Senna logo on the top. Um, and unlike some other cases where you've got stitching flaring out on both sides, uh, this one only has the stitching on the one side so it's basically one piece of leather that's folded over and sewn just on one edge uh, so this makes a nice uh, comfortable fit in the pocket so you can see there and another thing with center cases as well is I'm just not sure if the camera will pick this up um, inside here the we've got a soft suede like material uh, that doesn't scratch your phone in any way but with some of the cheaper cases of this type uh, you find that the lining is just stuck to the outer leather um, and after time as you're putting your phone in and out of the case uh, the leather will, the sorry the inner lining will start to peel away from the outer leather but with center uh, the the stitch it as well as gluing the inside to the outside leather so it's not going to come away and like I mentioned before I had my last Senna Ultra Slim case for three years and uh, there was nothing at all wrong with it I just had to get rid of it because I got a new iPhone so it's really soft it's like a suede velvety type material I would describe it as and it's really soft and doesn't scratch your phone. And lovely real leather as well. It isn't uh, like some of the other cases that you get that it's just artificial uh, synthetic leather. This is, you know, the real McCoy. So I'll just show it with the iPhone 10 in it. So you simply just pinch the sides and slide the iPhone in. And there you go. Now, with all these type of cases, especially the leather cases, uh, they're a little bit snug when you first get them, but after a few days of taking your phone in and out, they do loosen up a little bit. But I've always found that these fit like a glove, and uh, the easiest way to get them out is if you just push up at the bottom to show the phone. And then you can just grab hold of it and pull it out. So you can see it's a snug fit, but it's not too tight so I'll just show that again so that you can get a comparison for the fit so you just push the phone in there like that so it goes in quite it goes in and out quite easy and as I mentioned before um, it loosens up a little bit um, as the days go on but obviously you don't want it too loose because it could slip out in your pocket so granted these slipping cases they're not going to offer much protection if you drop the phone but I just like a little slipping case that I can take my phone out of when I'm not using it and when I'm 
want to store it away in my pocket on my bag I can put my iPhone in just like a slipping case so it's not going to get scratched and like I mentioned before I've had these type of cases well the exact same case uh, center cases since the iPhone 4 and I've always found them absolutely superb the materials are superb craftsmanship's superb you never get any stitching coming away and uh, the quality is absolutely A1 as I mentioned before I ordered the uh, ultra slim off of Senna's website and it's a US website and I live in the UK uh, I think I paid I think it was around about $35 for this because I managed to get $5 off it because there was a pre-order offer on at the time and I think all in all by the time I paid the International Express shipping and the customs fees which you've got to pay when you get anything imported into the UK or pretty much any other country I think it worked out at about £41 now personally I don't think that's too expensive uh, for a case of this quality especially when you compare it with the offerings that Apple do um, Apple's clip-on back leather cases they just basically just cover the back and I think they're around about £10 more so when you compare it and look at it against them um, you know it, it isn't overly expensive especially when you're getting this sort of uh, you know craftsmanship and quality as well so I think I'll bring this video to a close now because there's only so much you can say about this so if you found the video useful please give it a thumbs up and also if you subscribe to my YouTube channel you will receive emails when I upload any new videos. Well thanks for watching. Goodbye.